viewers in this video we will be seeing the alpha beta pruning now this is a technique in artificial intelligence uh, to solve the game playing technique so let us see this concept of how to prune these trees basically so in this uh, there are two nodes that is the max node as well as the min node now uh, max node is represented by an upside triangle whereas the min node is represented by a downside triangle so this tree is uh, comprised of this max node as well as the min node as you can see there is a left subtree as well as the right subtree and there are uh, these leaf nodes and it has got some value so let us see how we can solve this problem and how to cut these uh, trees for uh, beta cut as well as the alpha cut so to uh, get started uh, we'll first consider the maximizer node that is the uh, root node so this A is a root node here. Now uh, in alpha beta pruning we can have three main values. So those values are V, alpha and beta. Now the value which V can take that is the maximizer node. That uh, the least possible value or the lowest possible value which V can take is minus infinity. Alpha can take minus infinity and beta can take infinity. Now uh, moving to the uh, left branch or the left subtree that is the there is a minimizer node here. Now here we can take value as infinity, alpha as minus infinity and beta as infinity. The value of alpha and beta remains the same whereas the value of V changes for each maximizer as well as the minimizer node. Next is the minimizer node. Here value becomes same as this one. So it is alpha is minus infinity, beta is positive infinity. Next we move down as there is one uh, leaf node here. So we will assign V as infinity, alpha as minus infinity, beta as positive infinity. Now there is a rule that is if uh, the value of V is greater than or equal to beta, we perform a beta cut and the value of V if it is less than or equal to alpha we perform an alpha cut now as soon as we reach here now uh, in this uh, technique uh, the main thing that you have to keep in mind that the value of V gets updated when you reach the child node but you should not update the value uh, when it reaches the top or when it reaches some other position so to get started like first we have this J node so assign this value 3 here and run this condition that if V is greater than or equal to beta is 3 greater than or equal to infinity so this condition is uh, false and so we update the value of beta to 3 now in this uh, you should remember that this is a minimizer node so at minimizer node the beta value gets updated and at the maximizer node the value of alpha gets updated so this value of 3 will move up here and here we will update value of uh, V as 3 and alpha is also as 3 since this is a maximizer node next this 3 will move up here and it will update the value of uh, this minimizer as 3 and this beta to 3 next uh, we'll move to the next branch here that is the D node now D node has uh, value as V uh, that is the minus infinity it can take the lowest possible value as minus infinity alpha as minus infinity and beta that is the updated value is 3 here from here it, it has uh, this value 3 came from here that is the updated value next is we move down now see this we are not uh, updating any value to V value V will be updated only when we reach the leaf node V is alpha is how much V is uh, infinity that is the lowest possible value alpha is also minus infinity and beta is 3 now update this infinity value of V to 6 now run this condition if V greater than or equal to beta 
ये सिक्स ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू बीटा इट इज ट्रू सो वी विल नॉट अपडेट दिस बीटा वैल्यू एंड सो दिस सिक्स विल मूव अप हियर नाउ इट हैज रीच दी मैक्सिमाइजर नोड बट मैक्सिमाइजर नोड विल अपडेट दिस वैल्यू सिक्स एंड वील रन दिस कंडीशन दैट इज इफ वी वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज लेस इक्वल टू अल्फा सो इट इज फॉल्स सो वील अपडेट दिस हियर एंड दिस सिक्स विल मूव अप हियर नेक्स्ट एट दिस maximizer node we have b is equal to minus infinity alpha as minus infinity and beta as 3 that is from here next we move down so v is infinity alpha is minus infinity and beta is 3 next we update this value 7 here and run this condition if 7 is greater than or equal to 3 it is false so it will move up here and we'll update this value to 7 and alpha value to 7 now as you can see this maximizer node has two child nodes or two sub branches so first we have traversed and updated the value for l but what for m so as you can see since this is a, a maximizer node so we can perform a beta cut here now what is the condition if v is greater than or equal to beta as you can clearly see here 7 is greater than or equal to 3 and so we will perform a cut here and this cut will be called as a beta cut so we have successfully pruned one of the branches and we have uh, named it as a beta cut next we have to update this value and for sure this value 7 will be moving up here and uh, now uh, the minimum value will be updated to the uh, node a and so this value changes with respect to this that is 3 alpha is also 3 and beta is infinity next we have to traverse this so for this value of v is uh, infinity alpha is minus infinity and beta is beta is infinity and alpha is 3 it is updated so this value we got from here b value will be updated only when we reach the leaf nodes next is we have to go down now this can have values v is equal to minus infinity alpha as minus infinity and beta as positive infinity move down to node n where we have v is equal to infinity alpha as minus infinity and beta as beta as infinity so here this value will also be 3 a slight mistake now we'll update this value of v to 8 and at the minimizer node beta value gets updated so we'll update this here and so 8 will move up and we'll go here and we'll check whether this value of v is less than or equal to alpha this condition is uh, true and we will not update this and therefore this value of 8 will be moved to c and after this uh, it will now yeah uh, this value of uh, c will be reflected here that is it will be 8 and now uh, this beta value will remain the same and alpha value is 3 so no changes next uh, we move down here that is v is equal to minus infinity alpha as uh, 3 and beta as infinity and we move here that is v infinity alpha as 3 and beta as infinity and we now uh, change this that is uh, this v value has been updated to 2 and beta value has been updated to 2 next this value of 2 will move here and we change this to uh, that is will change this and change this that is here 2 uh, is like first we updated the uh, value of v from infinity to 2 and we'll check if value of 2 is it less than or equal to alpha 
alpha's earlier value was 3 and so we'll update it to 2 and we'll pass it on to this node that is c and at c we'll update it that is 2 3 and beta value will be updated since it is a minimizer node now uh, we can see an interesting situation here that is if value of v is less than or equal to alpha your v is 2 and this alpha is 3 so we can see 2 is less than or equal to alpha so we will perform an alpha cut here we will cut this branch and so it will be called as an alpha cut so this alpha cut will be done on node i and so the nodes p and q will not be cut down so in this pruning technique we have done two cuts that is one alpha cut and one beta cut beta cut is done on one node whereas alpha cut is done for this node which has two further sub nodes so this is the alpha beta pruning technique in detail hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video